morning students welcome to our lesson for today in this lesson we will simplify ratios including those that are expressed in different units the keywords that we're going to be using ratio and simplify at the end of this lesson you should be able to use these words confidently now remember a ratio is a comparison you want to know how much you have of something as compared to how much you have to the other thing. In a similar way as fractions, ratios are simplified by dividing each term by a common factor. Let's have some examples. The first ratio, 7, is to 21. This is telling us that if we have 7 of one thing, we have 21 of something else. To simplify this ratio, we will divide both terms 7 and 21 by the same number. So let's find factors of 7 and 21. The factors of 7 are 1, 7. The factors of 21 are 1, 3, 7, and 21. And you see that the common factor is 7. So we will divide both terms 7 and 21 by the common factor 7. 7 divided by 7 is 1, and 21 divided by 7 is 3. 7 is to 21 is equivalent to 1 is to 3, or simplified to 1 is to 3. This means that if we say that we have 7 of something and we have 21 of something else, that is the same as saying that if we have 1 of something, we have three of something else. I hope that is clear. We move to the next example. So this ratio this time have three terms. 450 is to 200 is to 100. Now for a, a bit big number, aren't they? So let's find a number that can divide all of them. So. If we will inspect, they all end with a zero. And we all know that if a number ends with a zero, it's a multiple of 10. Therefore, 10 is a common factor. So we can divide all numbers by 10. So 450 divided by 10 is 45, 200 divided by 10 is 20, and 100 divided by 10 is 10. Now look at this result. Do they still have a common factor? Can we still simplify? Yes, all of the numbers ends with either zero or five. So that means they are all multiples of five. So we can divide all the numbers by five. So 45 divided by five, 20 divided by five, and 10 divided by five, we'll get nine is to four is to two. So this time, 9, 4, and 2 doesn't have any common factor anymore. 4 and 2 have common factor, that is 2. But 2 is not a factor of 9, so we cannot use it to simplify. 9 is to 4 is to 2 is the simplified form of 450, 200, 100. Now, look what could have happened if instead of dividing by 10 and then dividing by 5, we could have divided by 10 times 5, the two factors that we have used in those two steps. 10 times 5 is 50. And 450 be divided by 50 is 9, 200 divided by 50 is 4, and 100 divided by 50 is 2. So we could have used these 50 instead of 10 and 5 and get the same result. But uh, again, I say for big numbers, you can do more than one step, two steps, or three steps, as long as you will keep on dividing the numbers, all the numbers, until you get the final or the simplest form. Now, what if we have fractions in our ratio? How will we simplify? Well, the trick is make the denominators the same, then just use the numerators in your ratio and simplify as necessary. Let's try the for example, 3 fifths is to 1 half. Making the denominators the same, we need the LCD. 
So that would be the LCM of the denominators 5 and 2. That's 10. So we will convert 3 fifth and 1 half into equivalent fractions of denominator 10. So we will find the numerators by dividing LCD by denominator and multiply by numerator. So let's try 3 fifth. LCD is 10 divided by 5, 2. 2 times 3, 6. And 6 is the numerator for the first fraction. Converting 1 half, LCD 10 divided by 2 is 5. 5 times 1 is 5. So 5 is the numerator of the second fraction. 3 fifth and 1 half is converted as 6 over 10 and 5 over 10. Now we will use the numerators as our ratio 6 is to 5. That means 3 fifth is to 1 half is equivalent to 6 is to 5. Can we simplify 6 is to 5? Not anymore. Because 6 and 5 doesn't have a common factor. So that means 3 fifth is to 1 half is simplified as 6 is to 5. I hope that is clear. Now for the second example, 2 and 1 third is to 1 and 1 fourth. These are given in mixed numbers. So we have to make them improper fractions first. Let's recall how to convert improper fraction and mixed number. From mixed number, like 2 and 1 third, you multiply 3 times 2 plus 1 to get numerator. And the denominator will be the same as the denominator of the fractional part. So let's find the numerator. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 plus 1 is 7. So 2 and 1 third becomes 7 over 3. Do the same with 1 and 1 fourth. You will get it as 5 over 4. So 2 and 1 third is to 1 and 1 fourth becomes 7 over 3 is 2, 5 over 4. Now, make the denominators the same, then use the numerators as your ratio. So, we need an LCD. List common factor of 3 and 4 is 12. Let's find the numerators. 12 divided by 3 is 4. 4 times 7 is 28. So 28 is the first numerator. For the second fraction, 12 divided by 4 is 3. 3 times 5 is 15. So 15 is the other numerator. Now 7 over 3 is to 5 over 4 is the same as 28 over 12 is to 5 over 12. And this is equivalent in saying as 28 is to 15, just using the numerators. Can we simplify 28 is to 15? Not anymore. They don't have any common factor. So that means 2 and 1 third is to 1 and 1 fourth simplifies to 28 is to 15. Do this exercise on your notebook. Pause this video and come back when you're done to check your work. Let's check your work. Razi and Tanisha are mixing paint. They mix 250 milliliters of white paint, 750 milliliters of red paint, and 1.2 liters of yellow paint. Razi is saying that the ratio of white to red to yellow is 1 is to 3 is to 5. While Tanisha says the ratio of white to red to yellow paint is 25 is to 75 is to 12. We will verify two of them is saying the correct statement. We will find the ratio of the paints and then simplify. So we have white, red, and yellow. You must remember 
that you have to write the quantities in the correct order as the same as it is mentioned in the problem. Now let's write the quantities. White have 250 milliliters, red is 750 milliliters, and yellow is 1.2 liters. Now if you notice, we have different units, milliliters and liters. We cannot compare quantities if they have different units. So we have to decide which unit to use and convert the others. So for convenience, I decided here to use milliliters. So let's convert the liters. We know that one liter is 1,000 milliliter. So you just multiply 1.2 by 1,000 and that is 1,200 milliliter. And if they have the same units, you may drop the units and have numbers only in your, in your ratio. So now we have 250 is to 750 is to 1,200. Now let's simplify. We have to divide by a common factor. If you notice, they all end with a zero. So 10 is a common factor. Divide by 10. 250 divided by 10 is 25. 750 divided by 10 is 75. 1,200 divided by 10 is 120. Now on this step, you will now see that Tanisha made a mistake. Look at the last term of her ratio, 12. It should be 120 in there. Now moving further, can we still simplify? Yes, divide by 5. So 25 divided by 5 is 5, 75 divided by 5 is 15, and 120 divided by 5 is 24. Can we still simplify 5 to 15 to 24? Not anymore, because all three numbers doesn't have any common factor. 5 and 15 have a common factor, 5, but 5 is not a factor of 24, so we cannot use 5. So 5 is to 15 is to 24 is the ratio of white to red to yellow paint. If we look at the ratio given by Razi and Tanisha, we see that neither of them is correct. Neither of them is able to get the simplified form 5 is to 15 is to 24. Answer this exercise on your notebook. Pause this video and come back when you're done to check your work. Let's check your work. Abby is trying to find the quickest way to drive to her new job. She tries three different routes and write down how long each one takes. On her notes, she wrote, Route 1 is 55 minutes. Route 2 takes one and a half hour, and Route 3 is one hour and 10 minutes. Abby thinks that the ratio of her times for routes 1, 2, and 3 is 5 to 6 to 7. Without any calculation, how can we say that Abby is wrong? Yes, just look at the last two terms of Abby's ratio. 6 is to 7. This is the ratio of the second to third routes. 6 is to 7 is telling us that it takes longer for route 3 than the route 2. But let's take a look at her notes. Route 2 takes 1 and half hour while route 3 takes 1 hour and 10 minutes. Route 2 is basically 1 hour and 30 minutes and that is longer than 1 hour and 10 minutes. So we see that the ratio of Abby shows that Route 3 takes longer than Route 2, but her notes says the other way around. So what is the correct ratio of the routes? Let's find out the ratio of Route 1 
is to route 2 is to route 3 in correct order. So route 1 is 55 minutes, route 2 is 1 and a half hour, and route 3 is 1 or 10 minutes. Now again, they have different units. So we will decide what units to use and convert the others. For convenience here, it will be easier to use minutes. So convert hours and minutes into minutes. So 55 minutes is okay. The one and a half hour is actually, half hours is 30 minutes, one hour is 60 minutes, so that one and a half hour is 90 minutes. One hour and 10 minutes. So one hour is 60 plus 10 minutes, that's 70 minutes. And now that they have the same units, we can drop the units and have 55 is to 90 is to 70. Now let's simplify. Any common factor. When they end with a 0 and 5, so the common factor is 5. So divide 55 divided by 5 is 11. 90 divided by 5 is 18. And 70 divided by 5 is 14. Now can we still simplify? Not anymore. So the ratio of route 1 to route 2 to route 3 is 11 is to 18 is to 14.